me? Or is this unbelievably creepy? Meow. 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 Hi. Wow. Look at you, laid out on a gravestone. You're so goth. Welcome to Wellington's Karori Cemetery. I believe it's the largest cemetery in New Zealand. Hang on, I'm just going to put my sunglasses on. It's the largest cemetery in New Zealand. It's certainly the largest in Wellington. It's the oldest in Wellington. Anyway, the reason I'm here is because I thought I would earn myself a few extra goth points <laughs> before inevitably losing some, as I'm probably about to. Because um, this is my ungoth conf my ungoth confessions video. I'm sorry about the uh, handheld ness of of this thing is I mean I brought my tripod and everything but as is so typical I have I left the snap plate behind it's like the tiny little piece that connects the tripod to the camera and I'm like fucking pro first I would just like to give special thanks to miss the late mr. and mrs. Dobson who I am currently sitting on oh yeah I'm forgetting one very important cliche no <laughs> I can't even light it it's too disgusting it's not even a clove cigarette, but we can pretend. I don't smoke, but if I did, I can assure you, it would be purely just to look cool. But I thought that uh, I'd better uh, sit here and uh, look really sad with my cigarette in the cemetery to earn my additional goth points before losing losing them. This is probably going to sound humongously elitist and stuck up and stuff, but I actually had a really hard time thinking of stuff to say in this video. So yeah, this is my like ungoth confession tag. A lot of people have done this. It's like a tag, I guess, kind of. It's basically just a list of all the normal stuff I like. So anyway, here we go. Ros Williams may be really attractive, but that is not enough to make me like Christian death. I prefer white wine to red wine. I don't like hip hop, but I have a natural knack for rapping and memorizing rap songs. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, my big hair was not inspired by idols such as Susie Sue or Robert Smith. It was primarily inspired by Mana Summer. And probably also Edwards as a hands first concert I ever went to <coughs> was the Irish Rovers. I sat front centre and got their autographs afterwards and I was probably the youngest person there by about 30 years. I also quite like old kind of music like I like The Seekers, Gene Pitney, John Denver. Mr. Al and I have watched every ever episode of Geordie Shaw and genuinely look forward to new episodes. We really like reality TV. The trashier, the better. I also enjoy shows such as The Bethany Show, Rachel Ray, and Ellen. <coughs> <coughs> uh, my lungs. Under my stocking, sometimes, I'll be wearing rainbow knitted socks. My nana knitted them for me. I have lots of them, all different colours, and they're made with nana love, so I love them and I wear them. When I was about 17, I went through this intense swing phase. I wore pinstripes, and I used to say things like, What's swinging, hip cat? Slab me some skin and rattle your bones to the zip gun bop jab, daddy. <sighs> there is an unyielding, screaming child inside of me that squeals every time I see something cute and powder pink colored. I try to kill it. But oh, how it screams. I spent more than a year with pink hair, pink clothes, pink makeup, pink shoes, pink everything. And then one day I was like, what am I actually, what am I even doing? <coughs> I'm generally a very positive person and I like it when people feel cheery. I really like cheering people up. I like smile at strangers on the street and wish people good morning, that sort of thing. You know, a lot of people want to change the normal people's suppositions about alternative people. And a really good way to do that is just to be really nice to them. Smile at them. They'll never see it coming. I'm getting better at this. <laughs> Not that there's anything to be proud of. <laughs> How do you people do this? Why? Why do you do this? It's horrible. It's horrible. 
Anyway, I think the fact is that I should probably point out is I never realized I was a goth until I encountered other goths and was like, oh my god, there are other people like me. And then they made me their queen. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago, really. Beforehand, I was like, I was just myself and presented myself how, like, how, what, like, how felt, how it felt right. I never really considered what, like, label might apply to me. <coughs> Fuck! If you don't smoke, don't start. This is not nice. I didn't see any goths around and like chose to be one. I didn't see any went, I want to be one of them. I want to be like that. There simply weren't any. And there wasn't the internet. I've just always been into dark and macabre stuff since birth, basically. On my first week of school, I painted a black rainbow. I used to go hunting for bones on my dad's farm. I've been vampire obsessed for long, like since longer than I can remember. That's just me, that's just what I like. We all like what we like, I like what I like, you like what you like. I never like tried to conform to like the gothic stereotype or anything, I just was it, I guess. Ta-da! <laughs> a lot of young people message me asking if it's allowed to like other music or play sports or other normal things. If you like it, you like it like the stuff that you like. <laughs> the point of being alternative is to like, you know, not conform and to express yourself, really. Conforming to a different stereotype is still conforming. Yeah, I'm myself. You be yourself. Especially you young peeps who aren't sure of what you are and are not allowed to like. You can like whatever you want and if anyone tells you that you're less goth or something because you're into Geordie Shaw, <laughs> or Nicki Minaj, or whatever. You can just be like, bitch, please. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I put out at least two videos every week. As always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you next time. Bye.